This weekend, our nation's leaders will reflect on a violent day that changed the course of American history. Among them, the U.S. Attorney for Western Michigan. Emily Leonard spoke with him about joining the delegation in Selma, marking the anniversary of Bloody Sunday. This weekend marks an important moment in our nation's history that helped open white Americans' eyes to the violence black people faced as they peacefully protested for civil rights. It's been 58 years since Bloody Sunday happened in Selma, Alabama. One of the top figures in West Michigan's justice system will go there this weekend to commemorate that fateful day. Mark Totten is the U.S. Attorney for the Western District of Michigan. Thanks for being with us to discuss this. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Well, Mark, you're part of a large contingent of U.S. attorneys going to Selma this weekend to commemorate Bloody Sunday. Why is this visit so important to the Justice Department? You know, it's a really important anniversary. Um, you know, we there were over 600 protesters on March 7th, 1965, who were fighting for voting rights in the state of Alabama for African Americans. When they crossed the Edmund Pettus Bridge, they were met by... Uh, an army of, of state troopers that brutally attacked them. And the video footage across television cameras all across America that day really galvanized the nation in support of civil rights. The federal government went into action. The Department of Justice played a very important role. And it was a, an incredibly important milestone uh, to help us get us uh, further along the path where we are today. And so we're going to go down there with uh, a few dozen other U.S. attorneys and uh, recognize this really important event. And it's so important because civil rights continues to be a very important part of what we do at the Department of Justice. Yeah, and you'll be meeting with a very important figure while you're there, former Judge Myron Thompson. What are you looking forward to during that meeting? You know, I, I'm interested to hear more about uh, the role that he played, uh, to hear about uh, some of his recollections. Uh, you know, our opportunity to, to have these conversations is 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 only happens so so often and so to be able to hear directly from him about the role he played i think should be should be really impactful incredible well you are a member of the civil rights subcommittee what work is that committee doing right now to protect american civil rights yeah so we're really focused on trying to strengthen this aspect of the department of justice's mission it's always been an important part in fact most people don't know it but the department of justice was actually came into existence in uh, 1870 with the primary goal of protecting civil rights. They had as their original mission to uh, dismantle the KKK across the South, which was of course terrorizing African Americans in the wake of the Civil War. And that work around uh, stopping hate and discrimination, around protecting folks from discrimination is still very much an important part of our work today. It's enforcing you know, the wide swath of federal laws that protect people from discrimination, whether that's discrimination based on race, on color, on national origin, disability, sex, sexual orientation, uh, gender. Uh, that's all very important work that we, we do today. And uh, it's an important part of what my office does here in West Michigan as well. And Mark, what would you say are the biggest threats to civil rights today? You know, I think... We keep our eye open uh, for what's happening across the district. You know, let me give you an example of, of something we're announcing today. Uh, we have settled a civil lawsuit with a landlord uh, named Daryl Jones out of uh, Muskegon, Michigan. We announced this by press release today. And uh, the allegations in, in that settlement was that he was uh, sexually harassing his female tenants. And uh, we got a complaint on this. We took action. Uh, and we secured a, a pretty significant monetary uh, penalty and then requirements that he would work with a property manager and that he would stop the type of discrimination. And so we want to be ready when we hear about these complaints uh, to take action and to use the really significant federal laws that our Congress has passed to protect people all across the Western District of Michigan. Well, Mark Totten, what a memorable weekend you will be having. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thanks for having me, Emily. Take care.